Hey everybody, um, today I just wanted to show you a little tutorial on how to uh, convert your music data files down to your iTunes music libraries without using any USB uh, transporting or disk drive. Uh, it's a nifty little trick and I thought I could show it to everyone. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, let's, let's begin. Now, what you're going to want to do is find your folders where you have where you uh, stash them in and just get two of them. If you have Windows XP or not, you can still do this technique. It's just not as simple. Um, Alright, so. We're going to go down to, you're going to go to your downloads, go and search and library for the downloads is, or you can add it up and do it. It's a neat little shortcut. So, alright, so, uh, anyway. You're going to find your music data, and I have found my, probably oh well, it doesn't matter. So you're just going to find it, it's going to be right here, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go down to music. And if where the music is, it should, if it's correctly, it should be your iTunes, and iTunes, it should be iTunes Media, and you have these four uh, folders. You're going to just keep it there. Uh, if you still haven't found your uh, music, just uh, stay in the if you find it, you're going to get the file, have a few screens open, and you you can just bring it up to the other window and place it in the automatically add folder. Now what this does, when you put it in there, it automatically adds it to the iTunes library without doing any disk burning or whatnot. Uh, you can put multiple files in at a time, just simple, um, but uh, if you put in two more of the same music file that's been found, it will duplicate it and whatnot. Uh, if you uh, clear the confusion, it, don't worry, if you have, it's fine, if you have more than uh, one of the same song, you can just go back and forth, like choosing a code you put in the file, so it's going to the Now, I, I can't open up the library and show you because something with the, um, the coding and the iTunes will disrupt the video if I'm using the Judy Hypercam 3. So, um, alright, that, that's it. Uh, hope that helped. And I'll, if you have any questions or comments, just put them down below. And I'll be fine. I'll see if I can answer them as much as possible. Have a good day.